Ladies and gentlemen, I am here, Troy Ford Jr., the new signee at the University of Central Florida. Troy, congratulations yes, sir. once Thank again. You. Um, you've been 10 toes down ever since you said, hey, I'm going to UCF. I know there's been a lot of suitors out there. What kept you, what kept you so committed to Central Florida over these last couple of years? Uh, it was really like the culture and the coaches. I, I made sure I wanted to keep my promise to them, keep my word. You know, I knew once I committed there, it was going to be a special place. Uh, I know no matter what, they're going to take care, take care of me and care for me. Like, Absolutely. And it's, it's interesting, too, because when you, when you first committed, it was, it was um, you know, AAC. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we always say it's God, you know what I'm saying? You go from being an AAC um, commitment to a Big 12 signee. How, how special is that to know that you're not only going to be able to play um, football at the next level, but be able to play at the highest level? That means a lot. I'm really, I'm really excited to play in the Big 12 and you know, show off my talent against bigger competition. That's really the reason I'm going there. They're going to the Big 12. I want us to prove against everybody in the country. Absolutely. Now, one thing I, I, I do notice earlier on in your career, you were more like an edge rusher, right? Um, the last, I would say, probably partway through your junior year to then into your senior year, you really looked to start developing that the, the, the abilities necessary to play on the inside as a linebacker, as a true, you know, box linebacker with the ability to, you know, chase sideline to sideline. What went into that? What went into that preparation? How did you make that adjustment mentally from being a guy who was essentially coming off the edge, rushing, getting sacks, to now I have to be a leader of a defense and, 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 and not always just take off and do what I want to do individually? Uh, really? I feel like I was always like trying to be a leader of the defense, no matter where I was at. And, um, being on the line, that was really Coach Stroud. He really helped me with that because I personally I wanted to play inside linebacker, but I knew I had to play defensive end to help the team out. So I was able, I was ready to play any position. And um, then getting back to linebacker, he helped me with the actual training and stuff coming back in the season. He made sure I was locked in. So I think fitness is a big thing too. You know, I, you're, you're leaner than you were. As a junior, you know, um, essentially getting yourself ready to have to play a position where you're going to be asked to to move around more. But it's really middle inside is a cerebral game, right? You can't just run out of there. You, you can't just fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Um, now going forward, knowing that you're going to a Big 12, a, a conference known for passing the ball, free will and offenses. You're going to be responsible for trying to like not only hold your water as as a run defender, but also as as, as somebody that, that drops in the pass coverage. How are you already starting to prepare yourself for that that next level where you're going to be asked to do even more than you've been asked to do here? Okay, so the first thing is speed. I've, I've definitely been trying to pick up on my speed, a little bit of track trainer, and um, really when I get them, I make sure I'm locked in with all the play the playbooks, so I can make the, make the calls. And, and all that so when I get there I'll be more than prepared absolutely absolutely what's the one thing that you're looking forward because I, I I mean I'm from Tampa mm -hmm. so I know Orlando very well and I really know UCF well it's gone it's gone bananas ever since they put that stadium you know in there what's the one thing that you're looking for the first time you get an opportunity to run out the tunnel with the black and gold on uh, the one thing I'm looking forward to is the fans I know Sitting in the stands, is uh, it's already loud up there, but on the field, I can't imagine what it's going to be like. And I can't wait for you know, people yelling my name, wearing my jersey. And, you know, that's, a, that's a dream. That's a goal. Absolutely. Well, Troy, this is just the beginning, as we always say. It's just the beginning. Now the, the, the work begins at the next level. You just went from being the the man to now you're back to a freshman again. Yes, sir. You know, zero. absolutely. It's going to be great to watch you grow, great to watch you see, get an opportunity to see you play in the Big 12, not just for UCF. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're doing. Congratulations once again. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Hey, Troy Ford Jr., Calvary Day. Listen, this ain't going to be the last time we're at Calvary Day. They are loaded over here with talent. Trust me, I know I coach against them. Them boys was all over the place. Um, Great, great to be out here. Great to be able to celebrate with these people in Savannah. Until next time, I'm Coach Gene Clements. Peace.